So in this Zachary 3D Prince news and updates, the Artillery Sidewinder X2 and also the Genius Pro getting the latest news and updates right here on Zachary's 3D Prince. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing. So yeah, here we are again with a brand new Zachary 3D Print news and updates. A little disclaimer before I'm going into the news and updates video from this week. All the specs and pictures that I'm going to share in this video are from Artillery 3D. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the video. So let's take a look at the Artillery Sidewinder X2. So let's take a look at the exterior of the X2. For the Z-axis uh, gantry, they use 2040 aluminum extrusions, but I'm not very sure if underneath the blue plastic cover, if there is a 2040 or a 2020 aluminum extrusion. On the X1, however, they use for the top, they use a 2040 aluminum extrusion. On the X-axis, we see a 2060 aluminum extrusion where the carriage is running over it. I think they use that because of the ribbon cable that is underneath the carriage. Also there, we see the blue injected molded plastic covers. On the left side, there is a stepper motor for moving the carriage over the X-axis. And the base, the base looks very, very similar like the X1. Is there any change that I see based upon the pictures? On the left side, we have the color LCD touchscreen. On the top of the base frame or on the left side above the TFT screen, there is a USB connector, which was also on the X1. So there is nothing new. On the right side, you have also a USB type B connector for hooking it up to your laptop or your PC, or maybe Octoprint, something like that. Further, I see a 2060 aluminum extrusion for the Y axis. This is also for more stability during the movement of the bed over it. I see a blue metal frame with some big leveling knobs. This machine has a automatic bed leveling system. So I wonder why they use those leveling knobs as well. I think that this unnecessary, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So more little details. The, the carriage looks very similar like the carriage on the X1. Do I see some differences? They still use the Titan extruder, a Titan clone extruder that is. They still used a 5015 uh, fan for parts cooling. Stepper motor is on the right side of the carriage. And further, I don't see much differences in those two carriages. The ABL that it, they are using on this system is, a, is also a BL touch kind of system. But since there is artillery logo on there, I think it's a self-developed system. But I think the basics are the same like the BL touch. Titan extruder, the nozzle is modular, higher precision printing. So if it is modular, can you also change for other hot ends as well? So the glass bed, it's a uh, tempered glass platform. I think they use a carbon uh, coating on top of this glass bed so that prints will stick to this bed. On the previous machine, the X1, they, this, this was very weird. I hope they changed it because the, they use a very minimalistic design. The, the four legs were glued directly on the glass bed. So I don't know how heating of this machine works, but I can imagine that if you break the glass, you can not print at all. Because on most of the machines, you have a aluminum bed. On top of that, you have a glass bed. And if the glass breaks, you can replace it or you can put a PEI spring steel sheet on top of there 
and you can print. But if your glass bed breaks, what can you use on this machine? I think, yeah, it's silly. On the inside, we have a 32-bit motherboard. It's different than the one that they used on the X1. On the X1, there was an MKS Gen L uh, mainboard, and now Artillery used a self-developed 32-bit motherboard. Some features of this machine, an outer bed leveling system, a BL touch kind of system, a uh, filament run out sensor, uh, rigid uh, couplers, they, they use rigid couplers. I don't know if it is a feature. Some specs of this machine, uh, the building volume or the printing volume of this machine is 300 times 300 times 400 millimeters. The, build, uh, the print speed is between the 60 and 150 millimeters per second. Traveling speed you can set on 250 millimeters per second. The print surface is tempered glass with coating. The heat bed type is AC heat bed. So, I'm guessing there is an aluminum plate underneath the glass bed. The nozzle type is a Volcano hot end. They used a Volcano clone. The nozzle temperature is between the 180 till 240 degrees. The nozzle heat up time is 3 minutes. And the build plate 80 Celsius degrees in less than 2 minutes. Oh, the board is called the Artillery Ruby. 32. Cool. The supported materials PLA, ABS, flexible material, wood, PVA and hips. The price of this machine is 459 US dollars and shipping is going to be end of August of or mid September. Check the website of Artillery for more updates about that. So the Artillery Genius Pro also a upgraded version of the Genius, of course. This machine I will call is the smaller version of the Artillery Sidewinder X2. It looks very identical. So the exterior 2040 and 2060, all of the extrusions used on the X2, they also used on this machine. However, I do see that for the Y axis, they use a 2040 aluminum extrusion. And I also see a aluminum heated bed. So that is a very nice thing. Also, the ribbon cables are used on this smaller version of the X2 as well. On this machine, as well on the X2, they use a synchronized dual Z axis lead screw. So two instead of one lead screw. So also on the uh, Genius Pro, you will find a dual lead screw set up. Further, a filament run out sensor as well on the spool holder. So that is very nice. So on the inside of this machine, there is a 32 bit board from artillery itself it's the artillery ruby like the one they use on the x2 also the carriage it's looking very similar or maybe the same they use a titan clone extruder it's a direct drive and also the abl or the bl touch is mounted on this carriage as well a, there is a parts cooling fan a 5015 fan. The printing volume of this 3D printer is 220 times 220 times 250 millimeters. So, <sighs> tempered glass also for this one, it's similar like the uh, X2. I I'm sorry, it's, it's going automatically because if I see this, many of the pictures I saw for the X2, I also see for the Genius Pro. So, I think it's a smaller version. Why don't they call it X2 Mini? Just, you know, specs of this machine. Printing volume 220, 220, 250. Uh, build or the printing speed 60 till 150 millimeters per second. Travel speed is at 250 millimeters per second. Uh, the print surface is glass ceramic or I don't know if I can say it carborundum glass or glass with a carbon carbon coating on top of it. 
you can print PLA, ABS, flexible PLA, flexible PLA, wood, PVA and hips on this machine, direct drive, also the nozzle type here is a volcano type hot end, the nozzle temperature is up to 240 uh, degrees Celsius, the heating up temperature of this nozzle is 3 minutes and for the build plate or the heated bed is 80 celsius in two minutes like mentioned there is an artillery ruby 32 bit board on this in this machine so the price of this yeah x2 mini shall i say is um 339 us dollars like the x2 this machine uh, will be shipped uh, end of august mid september but check the website of artillery in the description of this video so to wrap up this video i did mention it the artillery genius pro is the mini version of the x2 so if you like the artillery sidewinder x2 because of the size but you cannot place it in your house well maybe check out for the genius pro similar machine similar specs but only smaller printing volume where the artillery x2 has a printing volume of 300 times 300 times 400 millimeters which is pretty big the genius pro it's 220 220 times 250 so if you don't have that much space well you can always go for a smaller version and also if you have a smaller budget then this printer is most ideal but if you like big prints on big printers then go for the x2 links in the description of this video This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fixum Dude. Thank you guys for your single support every single time. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you are still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. While you are there, check out the merch in the merch store to support this channel. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media and hey, let's make some awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.